when I decided to make uh, a horror picture, I set out to make an instant classic. <laughs> I went up there with the likes of uh, Halloween, the Rear Window, Anaconda, talking creme like creme. I swear to God about saying not working with animals. You know, it's true. Filming that scene gave me a fucking ulcer. And that fucking dog gave me hepatitis. We were severely limited for time because Sol decided to take the actress's parents as hostage with a pickaxe. I needed real emotion. Didn't well, I? I needed no real emotion. I, needed, I, wanted, I wanted to scare the audience from the beginning. I wanted, I wanted them to, to shit the pants as soon as they, you know, through sheer terror, shit themselves. I can't believe I achieved that. I believe I achieved that. I mean, if you'd have been in, if you'd have been in the cinema at that, at that screening, the fucking smell. But so, the actress was professionally trained. Hey, hey, I got the performance of a lifetime out of that girl. You gave me a nobody. You gave me a nobody. And I, I turned her into Dolly fucking Parton, didn't I? Huh? Dolly Parton, the Wizard of Oz. I was watching my latest film, uh, <laughs> Revenge of the Shark Nazis 2. Oh, yeah, good film. Film. And I was, uh, I was enjoying this real tasteful scene, you know, where the hero gets to so far, finally bone the girl. When it hit me, Katie needed a love interest, mm -hmm. you know? And who better than a security guard? Just like that. Uh, I want him to be like Edward Woodward in The Fugitive. Board. Last one again, eh? It's the script, it was so, it was so deep and meaningful. Sounds like you might fancy me. Excuse me. There were layers there. Layers. You kept saying the word layers. Yeah, you said there was layers there. There was layers. There were layers there. There was layers. There was layers. Definitely layers. There was layers. Kept using the word layers. There, you know. Layers. Yeah, my, my first choice uh, was Lisa Minnelli, uh, me and Lisa go way back, you know, way back. We did some stuff some time ago uh, together. Uh, so I called him up and um, they were thinking about this project and it turns out there was scheduling problems. Mm. You know. uh, don't get me wrong, I loved him in Lord of the Rings, you know, uh, in this plane. <laughs> I believe little magical munchkin or... Um, Collywog or Hobgoblin thing, whatever the fuck it was, I don't know, but then. But I think if you asked him now, he'd, uh, he'd admit how much he regretted not being in that film. And I never let him fucking forget it, do I? No, no, no. 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 Nice blog. Sol was very insistent that um, at one point Katie should take off all her clothes. Oh yeah. The studio wouldn't allow it, would they? God damn the Jesus. <sighs> Ruining my pictures, stepping all over my grave is my passion, my vision, my lust. One blouse. That's all the way. They wouldn't even let her take one blouse off. Well, they let her take one blouse off, but she has to have another blouse on underneath. <laughs> You know what I mean? What the hell did they think I was making? You know, some some kind of lame ass new rated kiddie film about a talking dog or something with the voice of David Jacobney. Oh, Jack, there you are. Oh, I'm back again, are we? <laughs> What's going on? Everything's locked up. What are you talking about? Tell me something. This scene was excellent, wasn't it? Our test audiences said they'd never wanted to leave a screening so much in all their lives as. That's when they saw this. <coughs> Absolutely terrifying. <coughs> this uh, scene has particular resonance with me. I mean, if those arseholes 
had let me make the picture that I wanted to make. This is the part where she loses them pants. <laughs> The running time was certainly an issue for me, but I think um, I think Sol had his reasons for going for the edit that we finally went with. When they were complaining about running time, when I told them what I tell my wife every night, three minutes is better than no minutes at all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when it when it comes down to quality, I'm talking about the, the Casablanca of, uh, of horror movies. I mean, Robert Neal, uh, Robert Neal. Uh, Rob the Nils is Rob. A guy had uh, written a review that I read the other day, comparing me to uh, one of the world's greatest directors. Look at Death Wish, The Poseidon Adventure, you know, Michael Winner. Now, this is the calibre that I'm talking about. Yeah, but, you know, I think the, I think the film is pretty powerful enough, you know, without the graphic nudity. Don't you think so? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who else did you? Uh, incorrect. I mean, Liza Minnelli, Michael Winner, David Jacobney, Edward Woodward, fucking Dolly Parton. I'm the guy, I'm the creative guy here, you know, you should just get on and pay the fucking bills like you're supposed to, you know? Fuck. Huh? Are we about done here? Yeah, I think we're fucking done here. I'm so sorry about him. It's because he didn't get zombie flesh eaters for, you know, he's like this. Is he gone?